Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'm going to review what I believe is one of my favorite books and what I also believe is to be one of the greatest books out there on bodybuilding. Well, this particular book, Beyond Brawn by Stuart McRobert, um, is what actually set me on the correct path to bodybuilding after when I was very young, very early, I was using, you know, I was reading all the muscle and fitness and flex magazines, using all the um, programs of whoever was big back then. I think it was Dorian and Lee Haney, etc. back in the uh, late 80s and early 90s. And you know what? Uh, I had a very bad injury at, at the time. I tore my trapezius muscle, muscle and it took me six months to recover. And during that process, I stumbled across a Flex magazine uh, that was dedicated to Stuart McRoberts' work. And it advertised Beyond Brawn and Hard Gainer magazine at the time. And I thought I'd read them because a lot of it that he said made sense. Stuart McRobert actually wrote this book in collaboration with Jack Dellinger and um, the author of Dinosaur Training, and that's Brooks uh, Kubik, as well as others. Um, and you know what? These, these guys are very old school um, authors and bodybuilders strength trainers, etc. And, you know, it goes back to what I preach nowadays, which is, I guess, the use of very, uh, very old school uh, knowledge. Um, I think one of the worst mistakes you can make, and I want to make a video about this as well, is for the young gym goers to go to a gym full of machines with uh, instructors that have a degree or diploma after six months of uh, you know reading and, and writing and studying with no experience whatsoever and when they don't get any gains or or, or you know or results from these so-called gym instructors they resort to the magazine stand or now the internet and read what the latest mr olympia is is doing and try and perform it and then they end up injured uh you know unsatisfied and you know, with, with a real sense of of um, delusion, because uh, they never achieved what they thought was possible, and I, I believe that so many people nowadays do not have the correct direction when it comes to training. And this book, well, actually, Stuart McRobert calls it an, an encyclopedia. It really, really cements down the important principles of training and how to train. Um, Let's quickly go through why I think this is a great book and why I recommend it. Establishing a secure foundation would, would be the first volume, you would say, about this, the first section. S the second section is how to train, and then section three deals with um, other issues, right? Section one, establishing a secure foundation, really sets your, your mind away from, you know, from the lies of bodybuilding, you know, the, the, obviously, if you, if you are not aware, a lot of these people that are Mr. Olympia, whether it's physique, or it's uh, classic physique, or, uh, or um, all, all out bodybuilding, they're all on drugs, for God's sake, and, and, if, and if you don't know that, wake up, please, just wake the hell up. Because you will never look like these guys unless you go on anabolic steroids. And so this is what this section really just tells you. It dispels the myths and the lies behind bodybuilding. You know, all these ridiculous uh, uh, claims and, and all this stuff is just, you know, thrown out the window. And it really sets your mind up to training old school. And basically this, this goes around progressive resistance training. That's the rule. If you're not progressing in poundages, if you're if you're curling five kilos for five years, you're going to look like shit, right? But if you are working towards a strong bench, a strong squat, and a strong deadlift, you're going to see gains. Yeah, they're not going to come in two weeks or two months. They'll come in, in years, but that's expected. This is a natural way of training, and that's what this book really highlights. That's what I love about it. Um, as it says, expectations, realistic expectations. Uh, how to plan your growth. Really, you can plan your growth. You can choose to, to uh, 
steadily increase all your three lifts over time. And I guess when it gets really heavy, like when you've passed, you know, 200 pounds, 220 on, on the bench, uh, when, you're, when you're already squatting more than 300, when you're deadlifting more than 400, you can really then start focusing on each of these individual ones because your recovery simply will not be that. You're lifting so much weight that you possibly can't recover. And so you can focus on one of the lifts and then progress on that and then on the next, etc., etc. So this is really a really, really well laid out book especially for beginners. I highly, highly, highly recommend this book. Um, and then it shows you how to train, including the programs. And there's all types of programs. There's programs for those that want to train three or four times a week, those that just wish to train twice a week, and even for those that only have time to train once a week, for those with very li limited time. Yes, this book is focused on hard gainers, but I reckon everyone is a hard gainer, especially if you're not on drugs, especially if you're, you know, if you're already past your early teens and your, sorry, your, your late teens and your early 20s, and you're already in your 30s and 40s, most people at this stage have lowering testosterone levels and therefore have a, a, a much lower capacity to put on muscle and to also recover, and therefore abbreviated training is, is really recommended for people of that age and also for beginners. I, you can't expect a beginner to do 20 sets for arms and follow that with another 20 sets for shoulders on his first training training day. For God's sake, this is just ridiculous and there's so much misinformation out there. Beginners should really look at full body routines for at least a year or two and, and, and focus on progressive resistance training. And this is what this book is fantastic about. After my injury, I use this. And basically, this is the 20 rep squat uh, expanded, right? And I, I also read books like um, Squat Every Day. Uh, what was it? Um, Super Squats. And God damn. I put on, I'm not lying. I put on about uh, 25 to 30 kilos. And people were screaming steroids in the gym. And I just laughed. No. I got stronger and stronger based on basic principles. You eat normal, wholesome food. You sleep your eight to nine, ten hours a day. I could at the time I was a student. And you train hard. That's it. And this is what's so great about this book. It also goes through the exercises you should be using and not all this other bullshit that's out there and how to perform your reps and how to eventually design your own training programs, etc., etc. Finally, it also goes through nutrition and other things at the end, um, stories from, from uh, Stuart McRoberts' real life training cycles. Uh, and, you know, this, this book goes, it's what, four, five, yeah, it's almost 500 pages long. It'll take you a while to read, but it is worth every page. I, I love this book. If it wasn't for, for this book, I would have really not gone anywhere with my strength training. This book changed my philosophy of training and and yeah i put on gains because of this book and you know stuart really i think hammers down on one important fact and that is that today's methods do not work unless you're on steroids it's as simple as that and it was his advice actually that caused me and i was speaking to one of i was, I was chatting with one of the the um, subscribers on my channel the other day, his work was the one that got me collecting because I thought, you know what, Stuart's got a point. All these guys are on roids, right? Tom Platt's made an interview series, uh, a video uh, years ago, and all the guys, Ronnie, uh, even Lee Priest came out, everyone talked about their steroid usage. And that got me thinking, well, if these guys are doing all this on steroids, there is no chance that I'm going to ever get big and strong. And when I read this book, and, and, and Stuart clearly said, there's no point reading today's material. Go back to the, the, the stuff that was done in the 40s and in the 50s pre-steroids. Or at least at the time, extremely low and, and barely anyone used it. If, if anyone used it, it was very low usage and, and very seldom. Go back to those routines. And so I started collecting. I started collecting your physique. Uh muscle builder and, and power well, that kind of came out in the 50s but uh, and uh muscle power right 
and I started reading. And all these guys did very similar routines as explained in this book. Squats, deadlift, bench press, full body routines. And the, the you know aim of the game back then was just get stronger, just get bigger, and your muscles will get bigger and stronger. Put another five pounds on the bar, you know, in, in your squat in, in, a, in a few weeks, and then put another five pounds. And yeah, it looks ridiculous that you're grabbing the little weights, but you know what? In a year, that accumulates to 50 pounds. And the next year, it's another 100 pounds. Oh, hello. Now I'm squatting two plates. Year, year later, it's three plates. Oh, see ya. Now I'm, I'm, I'm squatting way more than you, mate. You that have been freaking squatting just two plates for, for, for the last 10 years. Now in a couple of years, I'm squatting three. Hello, next year I'm squatting four. What have you got, bitch? Nothing. Nothing. And so th this is what this book is all about. Progressive resistance training. And you know what? It works. If you don't, if you don't believe me, try it yourself. Do progressive resistance training. It works. It's as simple as that. And that's what this book is all about. I hope you've enjoyed the review. I'm sorry I'm a little bit pissed. <laughs> I, I don't mean to be pissed, but this is a very passionate topic for me. The the lack of in, of good information out there, you know, is is so is it's, it's just so bad. I mean, what happened to real barbell clubs? To a place where you'd walk in and you know you had uh, an ex Mister America, an ex you know national champion that wasn't on roids. That knew how to squat, that knew how to bench, that knew how to deadlift, and gave proper instruction. No, now you go into a gym, and it's like, oh yeah, we've got ten hundred machines. Here's how to use them, and that's it. Good luck. See ya. The hell is that? That's not training. That's not. To be trained is to be trained to learn something, not to walk into some studio, and be shown all these fancy pieces of equipment, and that's it. It's pathetic. So that's my take on it. I recommend this book to any beginner and to anyone that's trying to make progressive uh, results in, in bodybuilding and in, and, and in strength training in general. If you've liked this video, I know it's a bit long, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, leave me a comment. This is the Golden Era book I'm by for now.